Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. I always wonder what is the most easy way to make this spiral or scroll pattern and figure out a way I wanted to share it with you. Are you ready? Let's get started. So let's take a look on the finished piece here. Um, you're going to, this is after you join everything together and um, you basically will have a three different shape and then they need to be nicely to touching all the edges so that you can join together and giving a thickness to make it into a pendant or something. So let's take a look on the structure first. And everybody have a different way to draw a squirrel pattern. If you um, check online, there's actually talking about the golden ratio or anything. So I personally find the most easy way is to use the arc tool. And then I kind of draw a half round here. So whichever that diameter is going to be, that will be your next center and using the diameter to draw uh, to the next one. And I would like to, I mean, you can draw it like halfway and keep going, making even bigger if you want to and become something like that, right? And um, I actually would like to draw it more like a close back to here. And it's because I want it to become more like a circle there. All right, so once we have this one, we're gonna join this one and this one. The second thing I wanted to do is I wanna move this to zero as my center there. And then I wanna make a copy and hit all key. So then I'm making a smaller one. With this smaller one, depends on how many degree you're going to move. I'm basically going to move maybe 60 degree. So I'll get another one like this. Let me change this color into red one so it's not that confused and then i'm going to make another copy to be smaller for whatever size that you like and then i'm going to change to a green color so it's much easier for you to see all right so we need to use them to do our sweep let's clean up this line a little bit better this curve following my cursor is going to coming over here and come back finish right there. All right. The second curve is gonna starting from here and come back. You don't have to go all the way past. You might just need to uh, stop it right there. So I'm going to explode it this one and using the split command with split with the point. And maybe I wanna stop it right there so that we don't need that part there. The green one, we're gonna do the same. We're going to explode it as using the split command and split with the point again. And this one we want to split about right here. So we don't need this one. Okay. So now it is a lot more clear uh, for what we're going to do. Now, if you, um, and I simply going to join those back, you could rebuild this curve if you, that were better for you, but I like to keep it, you know, whatever shape they are. And whenever you rebuild, they are just uh, kind of uh, changing the, the shape a, a little bit. All right. So we are going to do our sweep. So we are going to create the cross section, the first cross section. I'm going to use the arc tool. And that's snapping somewhere at the quadrant here, the quadrant there. And this one going to go up. I mean, if this is too bump for you, what you can do is you can scale it down, something like that. The second sweep, we are going to starting with the same point right there. So that's using the arc tool one more time, snapping into the quadrant here and the quadrant there and move it down like this. And again, if it is too much, you can bring it up like this. All right, so ideally, if we pick up this one and we pick up this one and this one, and uh, that could be a sweep going from this point to the end. So let's try our sweep. We're gonna go sweep to rail. You go rail one, rail two, and then cross section. 
and then you got that first one now if it doesn't look nice to you like too much of a tension there you can add slash and make them a little bit nicer looking there all right so the second one is we wanted to finish the rest of it so let's go ahead with the sweep to rail you got rail one rail two and i actually want to pick up the surface edge just make sure that they will be 100 percent match there and we want to sweep like this notice that it will maintain the same height over there and it will stick it out that much and that doesn't look too good so the second half i would like to do is create another arc make sure i want to snap into the end point here and also the end point there coming into the front view or the side view we draw an arc and then we want to move it down to inside of that first shape so let's go ahead and use the sweep to rail you got rail one rail two you got this uh curve and we're gonna pick up this curve as well and if you get something like this mean that the sweep direction is not right right so the rhino doesn't know you want to sweep forward or backward so sometimes if things happen like that we just need to have those two rail to be split by this curve that we have so they will become the new rail one and rail two and let's go ahead to use the sweep two rail and you got rail one rail two and i want to pick up the surface edge and also this curve here again we can coming back here at slash on our top view and so to make it look nicer so maybe here i want to add one so relax the tension a little bit and we want to click ok so then we will got this one now for this intersection there um, you cannot just join those two um, you will have an extra surface in the middle so we are, got, we are going to pick up those two and let's go ahead to use the trim command and we want to trim it inside for that surface and also on this surface right there we're going to trim it this surface there so now if you join those two then there will be one single shell the second part is this uh, in between the red and the green so again what we wanted to do since we know that's going to cause problem later on i'm going to have this uh, green line to split by this arc there so that will be a rail one and rail two so let's try with the sweep to rail rail one rail two and we want this cross section there so it's more like a concave in that scenario so let's continue to do the sweep to rail we're gonna do rail one rail two and we're gonna pick up this uh, surface edges and we continue to do something like that okay so let's take a look on the render view All right it looked really nice you have one pop up one caving uh, but right here you seem to have a hole there so let's go back to the ghost view i'm going to use this curve and extruded that curve uh, with the gumball i'm going to make it into a surface right there and let me mark it into the red color so it's easier for you to see right notice that that is actually filling into that gap and then i'm going to use this one to trim off this one and using the red one to trim off the one inside so now if i join this one and this one and also join those two so they will become one single piece as you can see there and i can simply just join those as well so they will be all connected together the one in the middle you could set the stone you can have a three prong set over there nicely or if you like to fill it up we can do something like this let's do a cross section one more time and i would like to go from the point and coming roughly about here and this time i want them to go up so we have like up and down and up sort of pattern there and bring this one a little bit shallower something like that now we need to have two rail 
the first one, it could be this one go all the way there. So I'm going to have those two join together. The second one might need to be part of this one and part of this one. The problem is you got a point right there and that might cause the problem when you try to sweep. So what I like to do is using this one will be split by this curve here. So I got this one, I'm going to mark it into the cyan color. That's our first rail. The second rail will be this one. So I'm going to use this one to trim off. Let me hide in this. I'm going to use this one to trim off the green one. And also the green one will be split by this black one there. So I got one and two, and then this, this is the top. Now we can try, try to, um, do it all at once and see how that go. If we can avoid this sharp point. So I'm going to split with the point in between roughly here and then join this one and this one to be one rail and the green one and green one will join together and let's see how it goes. Sweep to rail, you got rail one, rail two, and you also got the point and coming over here and go back to the point right there. All right. So this is what I um, anticipate this, mo this one might be okay um, because you got that sharp point over there. And if we click on the render, you will see something like this. Okay. The other way to make it maybe look a little bit nicer. We're going to move this on the side for comparison is we're going to sweep it twice. So, uh, on the top view, I'm going to explode it. This one and have all three join together there. And then, so first sweep will be sweep to rail. You go from here to here and then you, this is your cross section and then you'll get something like that. And we can add slash maybe go from here to here. So it's not too harsh over there. And maybe one more go from here to there. And maybe one more to go from here to here. Okay. And then we click okay there and we're gonna, uh, do the sweep to rail one more time. Make sure you join all the curve that is necessary. So we're gonna join those two and we're gonna sweep to one more time, rail one, rail two, cross section. All right. So it's, it's a little bit better than this one over here. As you can see, this one have a big fold and this one is better. So let's join it together there. Right. So now we are going to turn it on everything and join this one to the rest of it. All right. So if you want to make it into the solid, we want to duplicate the edges of this one and this one. And that's joining together. Simply just want to extrude it to whatever thickness that you want. Join everybody together and use the cap command, which also leaving under here, cap planar holes there. And then that will be a good, um, spiral pendants, or you can set the stone in where the cave area. Once you are done, you can kind of uh, pave setting the stone in between, uh, to follow the curve and adding a bell that will be a very cool pendant to wear. If you are a beginner and you would like to know more about the jewelry care design, I have an online class on my website. You are more than welcome to check out the curriculum. Let me know how you like this tutorial. Leave a comment below and thank you for watching. I'll see you next.